Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maka here, playing Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain, episode 44, S rank walkthrough. This is the total stealth variant of Pitch Dark, and in this one, we'll be spawning in at night at the only location we're allowed to spawn in, and we'll be using the Grom 11 as our main weapon. Feel free to also equip your neutralizing pistol, although we'll be using hand-to-hand -hand combat on the one enemy we do interact with. Start the mission as you normally would, and get to the kind of main objective as fast as you can, riding D-Horse without getting spotted by any of the enemies in any of the camps nearby. I'll rejoin you guys with commentary once we reach the base. The tree we started has taken a pretty crooked course these past nine years. With no other options, soldiers have become dogs of war, sent to conflict zones as private forces, or PFs. Guys we fought alongside are dying all around the globe for no reason. No banner. But it's how they survive. Detected. The demand for PFs here in Africa is especially high. Cold War standoffs, resource exploitation, tribal clashes. You've arrived at Masa Village. It's been turned into a supply hub for UNITA. Meaning it'll be stocked with weapons and resources. Should be a thing or two that'll come in handy. Don't be shy. They deserve to be in better hands. Alright, so now that we've reached the base, there's a few things you probably want to do, and number one, you want to scan as many of the enemies as you can. Now, I screwed up and reloaded my checkpoint, which is why some of them are already marked on my screen. You can kind of see where they're moving. There's only like five or six enemies that are even really in the vicinity of ever seeing you, and they're, they don't really get in the way too much, but what we're going to want to do is go in through the side entrance. The, the base has like one large main entrance and then there's one side entrance which is the farthest away from the red tank. You should be familiar with this level because we're repeating it for the second time. This is just a total stealth variant. The only enemy I'm going to be taking out in this walkthrough is this one enemy directly in front of me. And that's because we'll be firing a rocket launcher later on in the level and he's the only enemy that can spot you and cause you any trouble. And because it's total stealth, if he spots you, the mission's over and you have to kind of restart from that last checkpoint. Now from here, all we're going to want to do is sneak into the base on the outside and get into the room with the controls for the pump to turn off the pump. There's not a lot of enemies that will notice you. All you're going to want to do is make sure that you stay low and that you don't make too much noise. If you're about to get spotted, make sure you crouch down prone and start crawling away as fast as you can so that once an enemy does approach your position, they won't find you. Um, and that's all you really have to do to make your way through this level. The only one tricky part is kind of getting into that pump room. There's one enemy that walks back and forth in a single alley uh, to that pump room. So you have to make sure that you either get into the alley as he's coming out. 
so he doesn't spot you or get in there behind him so you can take him out as you approach the room. So that's really the only other enemy you might have to take out if your enemies are in a different pattern than mine. The one enemy that walks back and forth from the pump room, he'll either need to be taken out or you'll need to sneak right behind him. As soon as you take out the pump, just sneak out the window, drop down, come out the exact same way we came from. I make a tiny bit of a mistake by dropping down a ledge that I didn't necessarily have to, uh, but it didn't really change anything of how the mission ended up turning out. So we'll go in, we'll turn off the pump, we'll jump out the window, and then leave back out the exact same way we came in. I'll rejoin you guys with commentary in a few minutes once we get there. There's the transfer of pump control rooms. The emergency stop button is... Transfer pump shutoff confirmed. Next, destroy the oily water separator tank. That'll ensure they can never use the facility again. So now that we've made our way out of the base undetected, we're going to want to get up nice and high on this hill. Call D-Horse, get on top of D-Horse, take out your Grom 11, which is the rocket launcher. You can also use a different rocket launcher, but I like this one because you can scope in really close and it fires in a perfectly straight line. Uh, shoot at the red tank and ride away. As soon as you hit the red tank, it'll start a cutscene. You'll have to get out of that cutscene and then progress the same direction we're going to leave the hot zone. You might want to watch out for some deadly animals at night, but that's about it. As soon as you leave the hot zone, the mission's over. Easy S rank. Thank you guys for watching, and hopefully I see you in episode 45. Peace. Mission complete, boss. Amazing. Mission complete. <laughs>